The pandemic has brought new challenges in public hygiene at places like hospitals and department stores. A lot of efforts goes into taking temperatures and disinfecting visitors at door. But more and more sophisticated automatic gates are taking on the work, leaving humans free to do more interesting jobs. Let's take a look. When this disinfection gate detects a high temperature, it automatically releases a squirt of disinfectant mist. The new model gets disinfection and detection all done in one go. A public hygiene company brought in a new AI system and developed this automatic sensor and disinfection gate. The system also detects when someone isn't wearing a mask. The one-stop shop was unveiled at Kaohsiung's Lunar New Year concert. Just two thermographic sensors took almost 100,000 people's temperatures that night. At some places, such as temples, hotels and restaurants, there may be an issue with open flames. So we developed our own proprietary disinfection liquid, which can be used in more venues and is less restricted. Disinfection robots are another invention of the age of convenience. They're nothing new, but older models are very loud and less usable. The sites of known infections have required manual disinfection by people in full PPE. Disinfection workers have been known to faint from heat exhaustion. Now, robots are much more mobile and can replace humans, reducing the risk of infection. Taiwan's traditional public hygiene industries all use diesel engine machines. By the time you have disinfected an area, the fumes from the diesel have produced secondary pollution. We want to use technology to help our workers avoid threats to their health in the long term. The pandemic has spurred an embrace of public hygiene as never before. Now, as we look toward coexistence with COVID, new technologies may help reduce risks for frontline workers.